Welcome back. In this video, we're going to go over coil nesting and how it works within Sigma Nest. Before we add any new sheets to our sheet library, we need to do a bit of setup first. Go to the Tools Help tab and click on the config icon. Go to Defaults. At the bottom, we can set the minimum coil size to be used in a task and the coil step. The coil steps are segments of space in which SigmaNest tells the machine operator where to shear the coil. The minimum coil size defines at which point not to use the rest of the coil sheet. For example, if I set my minimum coil size to 24 inches, that means if I have a coil length of 1,024 inches, those last 24 inches will be considered scrap. This is because once you reach the end of a coil, the quality of the sheet may not be good enough for you to nest on. Let's go ahead and add a coil sheet to our workspace. Go to the sheet library and create a new sheet. To tell SigmaNest that this is a coil sheet, make sure you check the This is a coil option. If you prefer, you can have the option to calculate the coil length just by entering a few dimensions. Load the sheet into the workspace. As you can see, I now have this very long sheet to work with. This is the entire coil sheet. Once you create a new task, SigmaNest will show you your bed size and show you where to shear the sheet accordingly. If you go back to the workspace tab, you can see your bed size in comparison to the sheet size. Now, let's look at coil step. Coil step is calculated based on the machine's bed size. The coil step starts from the machine reference. We already set our coil step option inside the config to 4. If you have a 132 inch bed size with a coil step of 4, you will have 33 4 inch wide steps on your nest. Now if we change the coil step to 12, now we have 11 steps that are 12 inches apart from each other. Now depending on where the end of the nest is, we'll decide where the shear will take place. If you need to change the setting, go back to the config like we did at the beginning of this video and change the value. When we start reaching the end of our coil is where our minimum coil size comes into play. So let's say that this coil only has 100 inches left. My minimum coil size is 24 inches. So if my next task consumes more than 76 inches of material, the remaining material left on the coil is removed as unusable material in SigmaNest. And that's all there is to it.